there will be big changes happening in Pittsburgh due to a property that has been purchased by Barrett and Betsy Morgan. Peg TV stopped by Lothrop Elementary School to attend the meeting where people in the town contributed their ideas to see what would happen to this land. Baird Morgan took us back in time to understand where this plan came to be and why this property was so important to them to buy. Back in the late 90s, we had, when we did our first town plan, uh, we had a series of meetings very much like what we're having tonight, and those meetings were facilitated by the Rutland Region Planning Commission. And the purpose of those meetings was to get the town together to talk about what was good about the town, what was bad about the town, and more importantly, where do people want to see the town go, what direction. So we talked about the good and the bad and all that, and one of the things that people said was, you know, we have Route 7 that comes right up through the middle of town, and it really separates the town. So there's no real community center. So at that point, we sort of said, you know, you got the library, you got the post office, you've got commuter store right up here at the junction of Elm Street and Route 7. And you got a farm that's not in real good shape. So we sort of put a focus on trying to acquire that farm and, and, and we really negotiated for, I'm going to say 15 years and, and just couldn't work out a, an agreeable term, terms to, to acquire the land. So. It wasn't until the, the prior owner, uh, Bob Forrest, died a couple years ago and, and, and the estate really wanted to move the property and, and that's when we step, stepped in last spring. They wanted to keep this property a positive asset for Pittsburgh. So that was really the, the genesis of the idea behind the farm and, and, and I would say we, we did it for two reasons. One is we. We, we feel, Betsy and I feel, that this is a, the, the property, the real estate, is a tremendous asset. It's right in the center of town. Uh, we also, from a negative perspective, didn't want to see some out-of-town or out-of-state developer come in and potentially put in a, a housing development, uh, a, a mega store, I won't name any names, but that just would not be suitable from our perspective for the town of Pittsburgh. So this is where we are tonight. We've got the land, it's off the market, now what does the town want to do with it? This opportunity was something that the Morgans couldn't pass up. They have been waiting for 20 years for this reasonable price. Everybody contributed their ideas and a decision for what is to come of this land is strictly up to the town. A lot of people in town think that this town is dead, it's going backwards, the population is stagnant, there are no jobs in town, all the young people have moved out of town, nobody wants to live here. Well, I would say, au contraire, I think it's just the opposite from what we have experienced. For example, you are new to town, you are young, and we see a lot of young people, and, and frankly, when, when Betsy and I first started pulling the group together, we looked to some of the younger people in town. And there's a lot of energy, tremendous amount of energy and enthusiasm, and people like living here. It's a nice community. Um, so we, we've had sort of a working group, which has been different people um, representing different age groups, but mostly younger. Um, and, and it's been self-selected. Self I mean, anybody wants to join the working group, join us, we're happy to do that. And hopefully out of these meetings, you know, tonight and then again next month when we talk about the results of tonight's meeting, hopefully we'll get more people who will raise their hand and say, gee, I'd really like to be part of this. <clears throat> so what we've done, we, we've broken this meeting tonight up into sort of three different categories. Uh, one is housing. We've got a big house, we've got a barn. Uh, are we going to do anything with those buildings? I don't know. Uh, number two, we want to look at the the economic development aspects of the property. I mean, are there things that we can do uh, that will provide opportunities for people, uh, either as consumers or as producers? So that will be another area. And, and then the, the other area we're talking about tonight is recreation social. So recreation, we've already made a step. 
because we've got a town trail, we call it the Village, the village Farm Trail, that runs down over the hills a mile long and ties into the Cadwell Trail, which then runs along the Otter Creek and down to Furnace Brook, and it makes a nice four-mile loop if you want to do that. So we see tremendous recreational opportunities here, and social, um, that's really a wide open category, and I, I don't want to sort of suggest what might happen. I mean, people have talked about community gardens, people have talked about a community center, uh, I mean, just any number of things. Social meaning social in a very broad, broad aspect. The next meeting will be held February 8th, where everyone will come back together and make their final decision.